Hi friends, the Word of God declares in 1 Samuel 25 verse 6, Peace be to you and peace be to your house and peace be to all that you have. This is what our prayer today is all about. Please lift your hands with me as we agree together for God's intervention. Lord, please cleanse our house of evil spirits. Dear Heavenly Father, we acknowledge that you are the Lord of heaven and earth and that you have given us all things to richly enjoy. We thank you for this place to live. We claim this home for us and our family as a place of spiritual safety and protection from all the attacks of the enemy. Jesus Christ gave us the authority to use his name and take authority over all demonic spirits and influences and to cast them out. In the name of Jesus we command every evil spirit, claiming ground in the earth, structures, furnishings or roaming within this place based on the activities of previous occupants or any of our family members, to leave and never return. We renounce and break all curses, spells and assignments placed or utilized against this place and we send them back with confusion and we ask you God to shield us from all the people who have sent curses, spells and assignments against me or this place or people in this place. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to post guardian angels around this home to guard it from attempts of the enemy to enter and disturb your purposes for us. We thank you, Lord, for doing this, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Prayer of Renunciation of Occult Objects in the House Heavenly Father, we confess the sin of obtaining and possessing objects and jewelry that were made or were originated by anyone who has been or is presently involved in voodoo, witchcraft or occult practices that are forbidden in your word. We renounce all involvement, whether knowingly or in ignorance, with the occult and Satan. If any evil spirits have gained access to our home or our lives or minds, we now resist them. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus and we command them to leave us, our children, our house, and all of our possessions. In the name of Jesus Christ, we renounce all evil curses, charms, assignments, spells, hexes, vexes, jinxes, bewitchments, witchcraft, and sorcery that have been put upon us or our family members or that are operating within our home and possessions that originated from any occult or psychic source. We cancel all connected or related spirits and we command them to leave us, our children, our house, and all of our possessions. In the name of Jesus Christ, we break all curses that our sin or the sins of our ancestors may have brought upon our lives and our children. By the authority, and in the name of Jesus Christ, and the power of his blood, we put all of these evil curses under the blood of Jesus, who took upon himself all of the curses and assignments meant for us. Thank you, Jesus, for being made a curse for all of us, that we might be free. According to Galatians 3 verse 13, which says Christ purchased our freedom, redeeming us from the curse of the law and its condemnation, by himself becoming a curse for us. For it is written in Deuteronomy 21 verse 23, Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree, crucified. We ask you, Lord, to cleanse us and rebuild our hedge of protection from the forces of the enemy. Amen. Peace be to you, and peace be to your house, and peace be to all that you have. 1 Samuel 25 verse 6 You will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. Deuteronomy 28 verse 6 Peace be to this house. Luke 10 verse 5 Give us clean hands and pure hearts. Psalm 24 verse 4 When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Proverbs 3 verse 24 In my Father's house are many rooms. John 14 verse 2 Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 verse 9 The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep you safe. He will protect you as you come and go, now and forever. Psalm 121 verse 8 By wisdom, a house is built and by understanding it is established. By knowledge, the rooms are filled with precious and pleasant riches. Proverbs 24 verses 3 to 4
I hope that you have been blessed by this video. If you agree with these prayers and scriptures, go ahead and leave us a like as your way of saying Amen. Thank you for watching, and may God bless you more abundantly.